What is going on, everyone? My name is Jordan Anderson, and welcome to this special tutorial. We're going to be talking about slide checkout. And if you're watching this one, this is the WordPress tutorial. Over the last few weeks, we've been running tests on this slide checkout, comparing it against Embed, comparing it against Express, comparing it against our own standard checkout that we normally use. And the stats that I'm about to read here are pretty astounding. One stat I have here is this slide checkout has been able to lower our ad cost from $93 per customer down to $31 per customer. That basically means you can acquire three times as many customers with the same ad spend. We're currently using this for Course Creation Challenge and we've tested it on multiple variations of the Course Creation Challenge page. And every single time, Slide Checkout is the winner, has the lowest ad cost, has the highest conversion rates. It's awesome. Let's show you guys how to put this on your website. Okay, so let's get into the WordPress tutorial on how to add slide checkout to your WordPress site. Now, the issue is, it's not sort of an issue, we can kind of work around it, but everyone's WordPress is completely custom to every single WordPress user out there. Everyone's got their own set of plugins. So for this demonstration, I need to make sure that you have these two different apps baked into your WordPress site. The first app here is called Header Footer Code Manager, and that's gonna give us the ability to inject code into our header and inject code into the footer of the site. And then the other one is Elementor. This is a very popular web uh, WordPress builder. So this is gonna be a way for us to add our HTML code and our plugins. So again, those two, have those two open, make sure those two are installed before you get started on this tutorial. And make sure that you have the documentation page open, make sure that you have your WordPress site open where your sales page is gonna go. And then also have your specific SAMCAR product that you're going to be injecting onto your sales page open and ready to go. And for this demo, this is the five-day sales mastermind for $2,500. Okay, so for the first step, we're going to implement this JavaScript into the header using our header footer code manager. And again, you could pause this video at any time, take some screenshots, go you take your time with this. So these are the settings that we're going to be using. JavaScript, specific page, footer, going to be active. And we're going to copy that code over there and then we're going to go in here and add a new snippet so javascript we're going to call it footer code and we can choose site-wide but i want to choose a specific page so go down to specific pages and then you're going to choose sales mastermind because that's our sales page for our product but you can add multiple pages if you want to and let's say you're selling just one product you can do multiple pages uh let's see location is going to be in the footer, make sure everything's active, and then we're going to go to the snippet window and paste that code. And if you look here, this, uh, remember this for later, but this is where the WBTN uh, button class is going to be, and we're going to hit save. That will mean something here in, a, in about 60 seconds. All right, so let's move on to step number two, and we're going to add our CSS into our header. So it's going to be CSS on our specific page in the header location, and it's gonna be active on all devices. So take this right here, hit copy, and then we're gonna go back to our header coder footer manager. <laughs> I'm forgetting what the plugin's called. Uh, you can do add new snippet down here at the bottom, or you can go up here to the top and say add new snippet. So add new snippet, let's give this snippet a name. It's gonna be CSS. It's gonna be in the CSS class type. It's going to be for a specific page. Again, Sales Mastermind is our sales page that we're using. It's gonna be in the header location. And then we're going to take this and paste that code right there. And we'll hit save. Now, again, you can go back here, make sure you have all the, the right settings. Uh, you can just, just double check. You can pause this video, take your time with this tutorial. Uh, make sure you have everything correct in the right place. Okay, so now that we've got that saved, let's move on to step number three. We're moving fast. This is, we're already at step number three. So now we're gonna add a button class, and this is gonna be a CSS class, and we're gonna have to go into our advanced settings of the button once we've added the button. And it's gonna be, we're gonna name the class W-BTN. So let's go over to our actual sales page here on WordPress. We're gonna say edit with Elementor, and Elementor is going to load up here in a second. Okay, so I've already kind of started this page a little bit, got, got a few things in place. Uh, I've got my button here ready to go. Again, we're going to go click on the button, go up to the advanced tab, 
and then go down to CSS class, not CSS ID, CSS class right here. And we're going to paste that in W dash BTN. We're going to hit update. And then we're going to move on to step number four, just like that. So step number four, we are going to add our HTML code. This is our actual slide out code. This is kind of almost like our SAM card embed code. So we're going to take this right here. We're going to copy this entire thing. But I want you to notice here at the very bottom where it says your embed code here. So we're going to have to go and grab our SAM card embed code and paste this into our HTML code. So first, let's, uh, let's add a container. Let's add it to the very top of the page. And just make sure it's at the very top. It's not mixed in between something. It's just at the very top, kind of sitting up, up there all by itself. And once we have an empty container, we can go back to our elements here. We can search HTML, or we can scroll down, and it's going to be under the general section. Scroll down, and there it is. Okay, so HTML, you add the HTML code, and you just paste it in right there. So I'm going to paste this here, and I scroll down. And remember where it says that you know your embed code goes here. We're going to take that, and we need to go to our SAM card page now, and grab that code. So we're on our SAM card product page. Click the Check Out Anywhere tab. We've already got embed selected here. Go down to Copy Embed Code. And then let's go back to Elementor, back to that HTML code. And then right where it says your embed code here in those two little arrows, we're going to delete all that. And then we're going to paste in our new code. And we're going to hit Update. And let's see what it looks like. And there we go. Our slide checkout's working. We've got Stripe link, We've got Google Pay here. We can do add some order bumps if we wanted to. We can take some order bumps off. We've got credit card, We've got uh, a firm here, Klarna, Afterpay if you wanted to use that. Here's like what a, a firm would look like if you wanted to break up your payments. Now let's go back into the code real quick. And I kind of want to add a coupon code baked into this button. So go to your offers tab back over at SAM card. Make sure coupons are turned on for this product. And for this, I'm just going to grab this coupon code right here, 50 off. You can create your own custom coupon code if you wanted to. But I'm going to take that word right there, the coupon code itself, 50 off. And I'm going to go back to the HTML code at the top and go down to where I pasted that SAM card. And see where it says coupon equals quotation mark, quotation mark, in between that blank, in between the quotation marks, you're going to paste your coupon code. And then hit update. And let's see if it auto discounts and adds that right as I hit buy now. So let's preview our changes and let's see what this looks like. Bam. Okay, so I hit buy now and 50 off. The coupon code is baked in. So my customers get a discount right from just hitting that button. And that is it. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you followed along. Again, go back if you need to watch this again, pause it, you know, go step by step. And also make sure you have that documentation page open. We're going to include all the links down below so you're not going to get lost. All the resources are going to be there. If you're a SAM card user, add this into your checkout operating system. It is going to change the game for you. And if you're not a SAM card customer and you just wanted to watch this tutorial just to check out what slide checkout was all about, there should be a button down below to start a trial, or you can go to samcart.com and you can test this feature out for yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Jordan Anderson. We'll see you on the next one.